Hello, back again. I'm just going to show you how you sync two Pi Core players. The one on the right is my main Pi Core player with a 7 inch touchscreen, and round the back, I've got a USB hard drive plugged in, which has got my whole music library. And then I've got another Raspberry Pi 3, and all I'm doing is taking the output from the HDMI for audio and the picture onto the uh, TV screen at the rear. Right, so the first thing we want to do is go into settings and then you want to go into synchronize and you will see sync pike or player 2 and then you pick which one you want to sync it to. I've only got another one and pike or player is the one on the right, pike or 2 is the one on the left so I'm going to sync to Pico and it's syncing and plus you've got the little blue dot to say it's done the only problem is when you use a TV screen you lose some of the controls so you're going to have to use a keyboard as well plugged into your Raspberry Pi so I need to go back and back again on my keyboard just go back to my music. The thing you can do, you can start the music on my uh, Raspberry Pi, well, my Pi Core player with a seven inch touch screen, or I can start the music on the TV screen. You can do it either way. Just gonna use my mouse, gonna click on my music. I'm gonna go album artists. I'll pick 808 State. Pick the first album and the first track. You might be able to hear the music, but I've got it turned down just in case I get a copyright strike. And as you can see, both displays have synced up. I'll just forward a track. Just go back, go to another track. So the thing you can do, you can uh, either use the TV screen or the, uh, the, Ros uh, the Raspberry Pi Pi Core player to control it. So I'm just going to go into my music, go album artists, uh, just go back, let's go blushes, click that one, and I'm going to play all songs. Let's see it synced up again. go to the next track go to the next one and I'll show you again on the TV screen so I'll just go back back again I'll just scroll down go Alexandro Neil enter pick the first album and the first track I'll play all songs and they've uh, synced back up again another thing you can do is run them both independently which I'll show you how to do now right so if I go back on the TV screen right I'm gonna go back into settings then I'll go back into synchronize. I'm going to click on no sync. Right, so they're not synchronized now. Just going to go back on my keyboard. The thing is, all my music is on this one Pi Core player, my main one with a 7 inch touchscreen but you can still play that music on the other Raspberry Pi. So if I go my music, I go album artists, I go I'll be sure, click on the first one, night and day. As you can see now, 
I've got two different albums playing, but all the music is on this one, on this Raspberry Pi. So I'll pick another album on this Pi. I also have some Billy Ray Martin. Uh, play all songs. As you can see, they're running independently now, which is handy. Because I normally have the Raspberry Pi with a touchscreen plugged into my Hi-Fi. And the one on the left, I normally plug into a TV. I must admit, it doesn't sound too bad coming from the HDMI. But if you want to, you can always plug in a, uh, say, like a Hi-Fi Berry DAC to take the audio out and still use the uh, HDMI to take the picture to your TV. The thing I'll do now, I'll show you how to install, say, PyCore Player, because all you need to do is install Jive Lite. It's a lot easier than a normal install, because you don't have to install a Logitech, a Logitech Media Server. So I'll show you that in a minute. Right, I'll show you a normal install of PyCore Player. First thing I'm going to do is burn an image, like normal. You know, choose the OS, go custom, that's my uh, PyCore player image, uh, choose SD card, just double click on it and then I'll write it, yes, and it takes a few seconds to write the image to an SD card. That's done, it's just verifying now. You can set up the Wi-Fi like in my uh, previous video if you want to, it's entirely up to you. Right, thing I'm going to do now is plug the SD card into my Raspberry Pi. I'll just log into it via a web, uh, web browser so I want to go into squeeze light settings then I'm going to pick my audio device I'm using the HDMI for audio but you can pick any uh, DAC you're using I'm going to pick HDMI Then I'm going to click save. I'm going to reboot once I've changed everything. So I'm going to click cancel. I'll change everything first. I'll go back. The thing I'm going to do now is change the name of the player. You can name anything you want. Pike or player 2, uh, TV, front room, back room, bedroom kitchen anything you like so you can tell which one you're using it should set up the uh, the HDMI output for you but if you're using another DAC you'll find options here which you can try for the audio output I'm going to click save Right, it's gone back. Now I'm going to go into tweaks. Just scroll down. And we want Jive Lite set up. I'm going to click install. Doesn't take too long to install. And that's done. Just going to go back down. I'm still in tweaks. I'm just going to go back down to Jive Lite setup. I'm using a 1080p uh, TV screen. 
So we want to set the size. So I want to go 1920 by 1080. Then click set size. Gonna go back to tweaks. Right, that's all done now, so I'm gonna reboot the Raspberry Pi. Gonna click OK. So that's all set up now. Just let it reboot. What I do now is show you, I missed it on the, fir on the first part of the video, how you set your resolution. So I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to show you the Pi Core Player screen now. Right, so you want to go into settings and then you want to go screen and then select skin. By default, it will normally be on Joggler. The handy thing about Joggler, it gives you all the controls, so you can use, uh, say, a mouse when you're using a large TV screen. But the problem is you get like a letterbox view, and I haven't found a way you can zoom that up. But as you can see, you get all your controls, so you can just use a mouse on your TV screen. But if you want it uh, full screen, I normally pick um, HD grid skin, 1920 by 1080 then keep skin thing is now you have to use a keyboard to go through the menus I'll just go back so now you've got like the full screen but as I said you've got to use a keyboard to go through the menus so that's uh, everything set up for uh, sync in a couple of uh, Pi Core players and how you uh, set everything up. So as always, uh, I hope this video has helped and uh, goodbye.